Welcome back guys, it's J Dog here from Seacoast and we're back again with another video. Today we're going to be going over how you can upload a single player Bedrock world to your Bedrock server. So first things first, we're going to need ourselves a Bedrock server. If you haven't got one, come on over to seekerhost.co where you can get yourself a small, medium, large or custom server to suit your needs. And lastly, we're going to be using FileZilla, which is a free resource, which I'll leave a link down in for the description and a tutorial for it popping up now. Um, and you basically download this, connect to your server, and you can move, delete, or edit any of your files much easier than you would do online or using the FTP file access. So to get started, let's go ahead and stop our server to make sure it's ready before we move over any files over. And next up, we're going to go and download our world from Minecraft. So to do that, log into Minecraft Bedrock Edition, press play, and then go to your single player world. For this one, I'm going to create a new one and just make sure that the versions do match. I'm going to be starting on 1.19. Any worlds before 1.19 will come to 1.19, but just be aware that they will not go backwards. So after the world generation has happened to the world, you can't then upload it back to a 1.17 server. So do make backups. However, I'm just going to go ahead and start up a brand new 1.19 world. So we spawned in, let's build ourselves something memorable. And there we go, we've got ourselves a world to move over and just to make sure the worlds have actually moved over successfully. And with that, we're going to go exit and we're going to go save and quit to actually make sure that it does save the world. Now what we need to do is we actually need to export this world from Bedrock. To do this, we're going to come on over with the world over here to the little sort of pencil edit mark. Once you click that, come and scroll all the way down on the right hand side until you see export world and click export world. This will now um, export the world somewhere. I'm just going to do it onto my desktop there just so it's easy to get. And as you can see, it's going to be a myworld.mc world, which we will change over to then get the files from it. Once that's all successfully done, you can now close down Minecraft. So now if I go onto my desktop, you're going to see that we have my world um, over here, but it's going to be in a Minecraft playable version, which if you double click, it will open up the world. We want to change that and just get the files out of it. So what I recommend doing first is just making an empty folder near it where you can access or drag the files to. And what we're going to do is is we're going to do a right hand click we're going to go to 7-zip and we're going to go to open archive as you can see that's opened up the actual files that we need from it what i'm going to do now is i'm going to highlight these files and i'm going to just drag them over onto the empty folder or into the empty folder rather once that's complete we can open up the world and we now have everything that we need to upload to our bedrock server now this is going to be where we connect up using filezilla that you downloaded earlier to do that you're going to use your host your username your password and your port i'll have an image popping up now uh, get this information by going to your logging into your multicraft going to your FTP and it will give you the access information there all the details you need your password will be your multigraph password once connected up you can see all your server files here on the right and as you can see I've got all my bedrock server files there and I've got a folder called worlds on the left I have all the folder that create my world um, that I brought over for my single player now again just making sure that your server is stopped before you do this I'm going to double click on worlds and then double click on worlds again now you don't need to bring your world icon, however you do need to bring your level name, your level data old, level data and the DB as well. So highlight all four of them, drag them over to the right hand side. And then when it does ask you um, that these files are already here, do you overwrite them? For the action, you're going to highlight or you're going to click on overwrite and then select apply to current queue only. This will also select that always use this action and then press OK. You're going to get a little message such as that once you're all done and then you can close down FileZilla. Now simply go ahead and start your server back up. And with our Minecraft Bedrock Edition loaded up, we're going to go to Play, going to go to Servers, add the server that you want to connect to if you haven't already, press Save, and then go ahead and join it to check that the world's actually uploaded. So we've loaded up on the same mountain, and if we look to the right, there we go, there is our house exactly as we left it on the single player world, and all uploaded to our server. So thanks for watching guys, as ever don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye bye!